You know, uh, Wilf and Dottie live up in a little town called Moscow. It's, uh, northern part of Russia. Yeah, it's northern part of Russia there. <laughs> actually, if you if you leave my house and drive about two and a half hours north towards Quebec, you, you go through this little town called Moscow. And Moscow's kind of out of things. I mean, you know, we're out of things here, but we're kind of in the middle of things. We're kind of about halfway between Boston and Newfoundland here. Nebraska. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but Moscow, I mean, it really ain't between nothing. I mean, if you go up Route 201, you go through Bingham, and when you come out of Bingham, you best not blink twice because you'll miss Moscow. Anyway, so last week the preacher was coming down the road there. He was tossing his cat, and he was heading down to church Sunday morning. He come down around the corner, and the horse stopped right in the middle of the road. He wouldn't so much as wiggle. That preacher, he whipped him. He did everything you think of beat on that horse. He couldn't get that horse to move. Just about that time, Wolf Clark came down around the corner there. He was walking with a fishing pole over his shoulder. He walked up behind the preacher, and he says, uh, Preacher, he said, looks like you're having trouble with your horse this morning. We just said, yes. He said, I've done everything. He said, I've been blarping on this horse here. He says, for half an hour. He says, I just can't get him to go. He says, I got to be down to church. He said, about half an hour. He said, preach my sermon. Wilf says, well, just so happens, he says, right here in my back pocket, he says, I got a bottle of horse data. Preacher says, you do. He said, yes, I do. Wolf reached back. He just happened to have about a half a bottle of turpentine in his back pocket. Wolf said, I'll tell you what we'll do. He said, we'll go in behind that hus there. He says, and you hold his tail up. He says, and I'll put about two drops of this right where I think it'll do the most good. He said, and we'll get that hus going. So they went around behind the hus there and lifted his tail. Wolf put a couple drops right in the right place there. And geez, that hus yanked his head in the air. And he let a bray out of him. You could have heard all the way to Portland. And that hus took off down the road just about 100 miles an hour and ran right out of sight, just a puff of dust. Well, the preacher stood there with Wilf, and he says, you know, Wilf, he says, I don't know as I've ever seen a better job of hus in my life. He said, but I was kind of hoping to get down to town myself. <laughs> he said, you wouldn't perhaps have two more drops of that stuff, would you? <laughs> Oh. 
right here on these tracks. Cause you never.